I don't think you can live a faith-filled life or Christ-filled life or gospel-filled life and see issues that are going on across our planet and sit silent. My name is Kelvin Beecham, World Vision Celebrity Ambassador, 12-year NFL vet. Right now, you're speaking to me from uh, south of Lusaka, um, here in Zambia. Uh, why clean water wells um, is because, for one, water is freedom. So for me, that's the number one thing that matters. That's where everything starts. That's where it starts and finishes. And you can't get to other conversations or other concerns without being able to address the most basic human need, which is water. We talk about the symptoms quite a bit. We talk about diseases. We talk about um, diarrhea. We talk about malnutrition. But when I sat down with World Vision, the, the biggest conversation and the biggest I guess the point that I kept driving home was I want to go where the greatest need is. You, you hear about, you know, access to clean water, you hear about water wells, um, you hear about the impact that water will make, but you don't realize truly what that impact looks like. The ability to personally donate two wells was special. So to be able to, to solicit fans, solicit friends, solicit family, to be able to lean on teammates and investors and founders and executives, and actually found joy out of asking in a very small way, hey, I'm getting ready to go and serve uh, over in Zambia. Would you be open to, to coming alongside me and supporting? You know, we were um, walking from uh, Charity's house and, you know, kind of walking through the fields. And I remember when we drove up seeing uh, a structure. I had no idea what the structure was, but saw the structure as we were driving by. Uh, and when we were walking by, I was like, wow, that's the, that's the borehole, that's the, that's the water point. And as we were walking up, you know, the entire community, the committee uh, that was over that particular borehole, you know, were singing, dancing. Charity started beating the, the jug. It was amazing just to feel the, the ownership, the energy, the smiles. Um, and I think this is a different type of smile than just, hey, I'm happy, but just overjoyed with the ability to have access to water. The experience that stands out so far is actually being, seeing Susan trying to pick up the jug of water and then putting that jug of water on my head. That was the experience that, for one, I, I probably never forget. And to realize how strenuous that was and to think that somebody has to balance that on their head as they're walking uphill through different terrain to realize that's how somebody has to go in and fetch water. That experience is, is seared into my mind, but it's not only seared into my mind, it's seared into my soul. I think the ripple effects of water is the ability to actually liberate one's mind to do more. It was, it was interesting to hear Charity and her husband talk about what water did for their family. It not only liberated their family, but it liberated their kids. It liberated their community. Water is freedom. And it's freedom now to think. It's freedom to rest.